Hey guys, it's Joe Blue here, um, back again. I just want to quickly address Loctard and just sort of prove that he's just a complete idiot. He's, not, he's never going to stop with these videos, and I don't know why YouTube won't ban him because it's uh, it's just harassment. He has no valid criticism. He only speaks lies. He, it's not even a parody because there's no truth that he's parodying. He's misrepresenting me, which is basically slander. And I'm just going to address this. He basically wants to try and claim that this is a DDoS attack and not some new hack. And he's got no evidence for this whatsoever. This is his evidence. Uh, okay. Oh, are you serious, dude? <laughs> oh, wow. This is, uh, this is cool. Look, is this intentional? Are they Usually these types of attacks are intentional. As dude, I can run. Dude, I'm fast. As fuck, he dude. is rubber banning because of the ping. The oh, ping last charge is there, dude. approximately. So he's rubber banning back to him. But you can see his ping is constantly. I can't back. hit this guy. Anyway, we don't need to see any more of this. Like, he's basically claiming that it's a DDoS attack. He has no evidence. This doesn't happen in my videos. Like, none of this happens in my videos at all. So basically, here at this point, I go to desktop. I'm going to desktop. The game's not lagging out. Nothing's happening to the game. I'm going to desktop. I'm seeing the desktop screen. Because the privacy settings are set to on, you can't see the desktop. I can see my desktop. Basically, all of the st stuttering and jittering isn't rubber banding. It's not being caused by the internet of the game being affected in any way. That is just down to the fact that when I go to desktop, and because privacy settings aren't enabled, it essentially stops the recording. And it stops and starts the recording. That's why bits of the audio are missing and bits of the gameplay footage go missing. There's nothing happening with the internet in the game. And then at this point here, I go to desktop again, right? And I have to try and get back into desktop, get back to the game again. When it comes back, the game's running at like one frame per second. And that's not because the game's lagging out in any way. It's because I upscale the game to 4K resolution. I'm on a 1440p uh, monitor and I upscale the game up to 4K because it removes all of the jagged edges in Hunt Showdown, which is which Hunt is really bad for. Like there's really no good anti-aliasing options. And the best way to get rid of the, the jagged edges is to upscale it to 4K and I downscale it back down to 1440p and because I'm in full screen window and I go to desktop when it comes back it messes up the resolution trying to go back to full screen and when it happens during game it basically causes all kinds of problems such as getting a, a one frames per second slideshow that's just being caused by the jank of switching from 1440p to upscale 4k downsample back down to, to 1440p that's what's causing that in this instance Right, and I freeze again. And again, all the stuttering and the juttering is down to the fact that Shadowplay isn't recording the window when it's minimized properly. Like when this happened to me, all this stuttering and juttering wasn't happening on my side. I just saw the desktop. I had to come back into the game and then I get a momentary like jutter on the screen, a black screen like pause while the game is upscaling to 4K and downsampling back down to 1440p, which is the reason why it takes so long for me to get back into the game because the resolution's basically janking around and all the juttering is caused by shadow play not being able to record properly during that time period right so he's got this comment here on me the game side it has absolutely nothing to do with the rest of your computer he's basically saying it wouldn't affect my discord call because they're uh ddosing the server now they could ddos the server but what tactical benefit do they have by DDoSing the server they're also playing in. How can they push up to me and shoot me if they're DDoSing the entire server? Locked hard, mate. You're not thinking at all. You're not thinking or you'd be absolutely dishonest. How can they run around the corner, shoot me and DDoS me? Why would they DDoS the server, the whole server, for a fraction of a second and they're able to run up to me unaffected by the DDoS attack that they're doing and then come around and shoot me? Like, you're not thinking, mate. You're not using even a, a tiny bit of brain power at all like no they're not ddos in the server and if they were ddos in the server they'd be affecting their own game if they were that would not offer them any tactical benefit at all and there are many streamers play games who do become victims of ddos attacks to get them to stop playing game i know true talent when he was playing some games he was getting ddos specifically he was getting ddos not the game server in um, games like dead by daylight and such like that right so you can be ddos specifically as an individual which would affect your 
Discord call if your individual internet was being DDoS attacked. And if it was the game server that was being DDoSed, it would affect everybody in the game and offer no tactical advantage to the people pushing me. So there's no evidence to tie it to DDoSing attack. And I'll show one other bit of evidence that proves that it's not a DDoS in any way, shape or form. Right, so here I've got all of my Hunt Showdown clips. These are all my clips coming from the most recent ones here to the oldest ones currently. These are all being sorted into highlights and deaths and we're going to find a specific video so this is the section this is the section that i'm going to prove that it's not a ddos attack right so fighting these guys here and i run around and we can see here internet connection symbol up in the corner right here right so i've i have enabled the symbols to deter to tell me if there's an internet connection problem so you saw that the network symbol came up there we'll play it one more time Right, so there's the network symbol up in the corner there. So there's a there's a network issue at that time for whatever reason. That'll be server jank, as we all know. And we'll end this here, and then we'll click here, and we'll go properties, and create it on the 14th of January, 2024. Okay, so that's when this file was created. So this is before the force to desktop. This is to prove that I have this option enabled all the time. And we'll watch the clip here. To see if the symbol comes up in the corner. Oh look, the the connection symbol never appears in the top right hand corner. There is never any indication that there is a network problem occurring in the game at any point. Okay, and we go here and we'll look for the symbol here. And there no connection symbol appears up here. Now he also wants to react to a to a possibility that somebody on Discord is doing this to me. Now I'm in the, in the game with my cousin on Discord with my cousin. He could say, "Okay, well your cousin's like playing pranks on you and fucking your game up." Okay, it's a possibility. I I already understand that it's a possibility. I'm not going to think that my cousin is going to be alt tabbing me somehow remotely out of the game. And if that was the case, why does he need to pretend it's happening to him as well? I mean, that's sort of the logic that undermines that as a possibility. Why would he, my cousin, be pretending he's alt tabbing to desktop and then for him to do it? to me when he could just do it to me every now and again if he was trolling me he could just do it every now and again oh oh tab me to desktop and he wouldn't have to pretend it's happening to him as well if he was doing this on the sly like trolling me why does he need to pretend it's happening to him as well like it makes no sense so i can't believe that that seems likely that that's the outcome right it's not a ddos attack that locked hard is claiming that it is and he's just proving that he has no ability to think and what he's doing is a, a false equivocation fallacy he's just saying hey it's like this but there's no similarities to it the evidence isn't there there isn't a shred of evidence for him to tie it to it he's just trying to direct people away from this being a potential cheat in the game alt tab you to desktop so it's like he's either a cheater like trying to misdirect people in regards to the cheats being used or he's just being completely disingenuous to go to any lengths to lie about me but anyway that's it i'm going to do a quick video here that's it uh ggs latest guys peace they're coming for you look look there comes one of them now